New form of matter detected. Quantum computers can create new matters. Insane discovery. Since we can manipulate the interactions between qubits and quantum computers, these machines may be able to assist us in the creation of unique structures with strange features that do not exist in nature. Quantum computers have the potential to produce a new type of matter with peculiar structures and characteristics that are not seen in nature. This new type of matter may one day assist in the discovery of exotic features such as superconductivity. Well, welcome back to Next Tech Ventures, everyone, where today we've got for you news about what scientists found out about. If you're a science freak, well, keep on watching this video as you're gonna love it. So without any further ado, let's get started. Fans predict that quantum computers will one day be able to do anything from breaking digital encryptions to designing new medications. However, the advantages of many quantum algorithms remain speculative at this early stage of development. Moreover, some scientists question whether subatomic control is even conceivable. It's a frightening task, said Marcus Greiner, a physicist at Harvard. Physicists, on the other hand, are still able to achieve one of the primary goals of quantum computing with the aid of more specialized machines known as quantum simulators. The best way to simulate nature is to use quantum mechanics, as stated by Richard Feynman in a presentation in 1981, nature isn't classical, damn it. Using a dark horse quantum simulator, teams in Paris and Cambridge, Massachusetts have made significant headway in this direction in the last few years. On a traditional computer, these simulations might take months or even years to complete. Ivan Deutsch, a pioneer of the technology and current professor at the University of New Mexico said, they've been investigating some of the edges of physics. Researchers at Cambridge University announced their most significant discovery yet, the discovery of what they call a quantum spin liquid, a state of matter that doesn't fit neatly into the century-old paradigm of how matter may be organized. An almost 50-year theory that predicted this bizarre situation has now been proven to be correct. It's also a step closer to realizing the goal of constructing a universal quantum computer that's useful. In terms of ultra-cold atomic investigations, Ehud Altman, a condensed matter Matter theory at the University of California, Berkeley, said it was certainly one of the most amazing and groundbreaking experience. Neutral atoms are used in a new approach to quantum computing in this paper. Neutral atoms have peculiar features that have long grabbed the imaginations of quantum engineers, although the method is trailed behind more popular quantum computing methods, such as superconducting circuits or trapped ions. Building a quantum computer is all about creating a collection of qubits, quantum objects that are analogous to classical bits that meet two con contradicting conditions. The quantum mojo of the qubits will be destroyed if they are not initially protected from the outer world by a firewall. However, they must also be accessible and tamper-proof. Proponents of neutral atoms claim that they meet these requirements particularly well. Lasers can operate as a tractor beam, grabbing and moving atoms while shielding them from outside disturbance. Adding a second laser pulse can create a Rydberg state, which is comparable to turning a classical bit on and off. To put it another way, these neutral atom qubits are capable of both superpositions, where they appear to be both enormous and small at the same time, and entanglement, where they may communicate with one another over distances. For the past two decades, scientists have been expanding their control over neutral atoms. Scientists used laser tweezers to catch individual atoms in 2001, and then entangled pairs of individual atoms in 2010. In 2016, organizations in Cambridge and Paris made a breakthrough by figuring out how to manage swarms of hundreds of atoms. The potential computers of the next generation have reached triple digits, making them potent quantum physics simulators. There are 256 qubits compared to 100 or 50 qubits, according to Deutsch. The significance of that is undeniable. These grids of neutral atoms have been used by scientists to investigate the phases of quantum matter. Superposition and entanglement allow for more complex and unusual arrangements of liquid and solid than are possible with the familiar phases of liquid and solid alone. For example, figuring out what causes high temperature superconductivity could benefit from further study of quantum phases. Researchers in condensed matter physics use crystals from nature and their laboratories to examine these phases. In contrast, neutral atom researchers can program their matter, arranging the atoms into lattices of any shape and building tailored interactions between the atoms through the manipulation of Rydberg states. 
Cambridge group leader Mikael Lucan summarized the project's goal as basically assembling an artificial crystal. Arrays of 256 and 196 atoms were used by researchers in Cambridge and Paris this summer to recreate a textbook theory of magnetism known as the quantum icing model and to determine for the first time how magnetism pockets expand and contract with temperature. On a traditional computer, the simulations would have taken months to complete. According to Paris-based physicist Thierry LaHaye, the experimental apparatus is at a stage where trying to recreate the thing becomes unfeasible, he stated. Earlier this year, Nature published papers from both teams on their quantum icing simulations. Harvard's Lucan and Harvard's Greiner and MIT's Vuletti groups had used their quantum simulator to investigate a long sought after phase of matter using this new technology. According to Nobel laureates and pioneer in condensed matter Philip Anderson, a quantum spin liquid was predicted to exist in 1973. A quantum feature known as spin defines a direction for many atoms. At low temperatures, the magnetic interaction between spins can cause them to point in opposite directions. However, only two of the three atoms in a triangle can point in opposite directions. This means that atoms can't freeze into a neat pattern of spins when they form a triangle-like lattice structure. It is akin to how molecules move in water, with spins fluctuating even at absolute zero. Liquids with quantum spin encounter a great deal of entanglement. The system's topology, or geometry, can be sensed by individual particles, resulting in topological order. The features of a quantum spin liquid could alter if the atoms at the core of the system are removed. Quantum spin liquids are now in a new class of substance. The mineral Herbert Smithite, which has a crystal structure that is particularly difficult for atoms to occupy, has provided some indirect evidence of quantum spin liquids. A material status as a quantum spin liquid cannot be explicitly confirmed because its distinguishing entanglement and associated topological order cannot be detected in one location. For a bird's eye view of quantum simulation, the Cambridge team used the simulator. The neutral atoms were first programmed to operate like the atoms in Herbert Smithite, with the on off Rydberg state serving as spin. Entanglement was then observed by measuring the Rydberg states across the loops and strings of atoms. Direct measurement of the topological order of a quantum spin liquid has been obtained. Altman, who wasn't involved, remarked, The amazing thing is that it looks really convincing. In 1998, the fractional quantum Hall effect, the first certain discovery of a topologically organized phase of matter, was awarded the Nobel Prize. Researchers are now able to analyze the second example in greater detail because of quantum simulators. It's a really special time for Lucan to be able to study quantum spin liquids, he said. We can automate and remove drudgery from our lives with the help of these new technologies. They're not more significant or more remarkable than life. Don't submit to technology because if you do, it will become a dreadful master to rule over us all. Bitcoin mining can be fascinating if these computers are utilized. As opposed to making up stories instead of working to save the earth, it doesn't matter if there's no mind akin to the crystals of time. Hey, that's about it for this video, guys. We'll be back with more of our latest updates like this, so please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon in the next one.